Okay, so there are a few more topics that I wanted to talk about in regards to her pitch. Oh, I forgot to sell my timer! Ah! 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 Okay, um, this one probably won't be as long as the other video, but okay. Um, so I wanted to talk about um, my childhood and growing up and how I realized I had perfect pitch and um, why my perfect pitch is kind of underdeveloped in when you compare it to a lot of other people. So, um, growing up, uh, when I was young, uh, I, I wasn't exposed to any instruments until the third grade when my parents started me on piano, which is way too late in my opinion. You need to start earlier. If your kids show musical ability, you need to start earlier than third grade because it was too late for me. I was like, screw that, not doing piano. I just blew the whole thing off for the next three years and then I quit, hated it, sucked at it, all that. Um, it wasn't that I didn't understand, I just didn't want to do it. Anyway, before that, when I was younger, um, I immediately, as soon as I could sing, I immediately showed signs of being a good singer, not trying to be conceited, but it's, just, it's the truth. Um, my brother really encouraged me with that. He, whenever um, a song that I knew came on the radio, he would, uh, this was back in the early 90s, so we had really old school technology, so he would put a, a little tape in our tape recorder and he would uh, hit the record button and I would sing along with the singer and it was really fun and uh, that was cool but uh, he really encouraged me um, and you know my parents had me in the church choir and they had me in everything and singing that they possibly could and um, actually when I started kindergarten they actually tried to put me in the school choir but you actually couldn't join that until the second grade so um, yeah but I did join that in the second grade. Um, so I didn't, nobody really realized that there was anything kind of different about me musically um, until the fifth grade. Well, I don't know. My first, I didn't know I had perfect pitch until the seventh grade, but my first really like whoa experience was in the fifth grade. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so in third grade, this is kind of jumbled, I'm sorry. In third grade, I took piano. Um, my teacher wasn't the greatest. She didn't, she didn't teach me any theory. All she taught me was, like, how to read music and, like, what quarter notes and half notes and stuff are and, like, what a C looks like on the page. And so you press this key and that looks like a C. And she didn't, she didn't teach me, like, that a C has no, the key of C has no sharps or flats or anything like that. So I only learned, I still know barely anything about any, anything like that. Uh, but I've only learned that, like, this year. So, um, yeah, that kind of explains a lot about why I don't know anything about music theory. So, um, in the fifth grade, I, um, started taking uh, group voice lessons at school. There, were, I think there were like five or six girls that took this group voice lessons class uh, that I went to school with. And we, there was one time when we were preparing our song for the talent show. We were singing ABC by the Jackson Five. And we were practicing in the hallway because we were doing choreography to it. And we were practicing in the hallway and we were singing our song and doing our choreography and we weren't using music because we were just practicing the choreography um, we were just singing along so that we could like you know practice the, the beat and all that and this is the first this is the experience where I realized there's kind of something a little bit weird um, it just sounded wrong like the key we were singing was I, was I made everybody stop I was like wait this, this isn't the right key we need to sing this differently so I made everybody stop, and I made everybody sing it in a different key. <laughs> I was like, this sucks, this sounds terrible. You gotta sing it in the right key, guys. So everyone thought I was kind of freaky and weird. Um, so things kind of continued along that vein. Um, I started private voice lessons uh, the summer between 5th and 6th grade, and then I continued doing that until um, I moved at the end of 10th grade. So I, I did that for a long time. But anyway, um, so um, I didn't know I had perfect pitch until seventh grade when my really good friend, 
um, came up to me and said, my mom says you have perfect pitch. And I was like, what's that? And she told me what it was. And her mom has perfect pitch too. And she's like me in that she's a singer and she doesn't really play instruments, but she does have perfect pitch. So um, then I knew I, I had perfect pitch because everything that she said made total and complete sense. And my choir teacher was always like, oh, you're so perfect and amazing. And you sing everything in the right key and you're awesome. And I quit choir after that year because the teacher bugged me and I didn't like the way she run things. And I don't like singing in choirs that much anyway because I don't like singing in big groups when with lots of relative pitch people. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, I don't really know what else to say about that. Um, yeah, so I did voice lessons for forever, and, um, really the only way that Perfect Pitch factored into that was a couple times in, uh, the recitals when, uh, she had this machine, um, that could change the keys on the CDs if uh, the students needed the song to be in a different key to suit their voice, um, then she could change it. And a couple times during the, the recital, she would change the key for one student and then forget to change it back to the, a regular key for the next student. And then I would hear it, and then I'd go, have to go and correct her so that the student wouldn't be singing in a freakishly high key or whatever. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, so I never had to learn the names of the notes or anything because I always did everything by ear. So that explains a lot. Um, so, okay. Um, can you learn perfect pitch? This is a, a hot topic among the community. Um, I don't know. I think you have to have some degree of it to be able to learn it because I'm learning new notes all the time. I'm learning how to be able to tell one key from another all the time. So obviously you can grow in your perfect pitch. I think you have to, probably you have to have some degree of talent for it originally. I, I think it will probably, for someone with relative pitch, I think you probably can learn a note or two, um, but it's gonna take a lot of work. Um, and it's not really worth it it's not going to determine your musical ability. That is through knowledge of music theory and hard work and knowledge of your instrument and knowledge of your voice and whatever else you do. So it's really not worth it. And also, another question is, um, what causes perfect pitch? Is it genetic? Um, I really don't know. I know that no one in my immediate family has it. My mother is tone deaf. Um, my father can sing, but I know that he doesn't have perfect pitch. My brother is musical, he can play piano, and he can play clarinet, um, but I also, I'm fairly, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have perfect pitch. Um, I don't know about my grandparents, I don't think that they do, but, so I'm not, I guess I'm not much help in the genetics theory other than the fact that I know that no one in my immediate family has it. Um, there's a theory about like stiff hairs in your ears or whatever that cause it. I have no idea about that. I'm not a scientist. I'm sorry, not very helpful. Uh, what other questions? Um, yeah, if you have any questions about it or you have other things to add or things you think I got wrong or uh, just interesting stuff about perfect pitch, um, feel free to leave it in the comments. That's really exciting. Um, stuff I like to do with perfect pitch. I like to listen to music in my head during class when it's boring. That's really fun um, because I can just turn on my iPod and that's cool. Um, some stuff that screws me over. Um, those cars that beep now instead of honk when you lock them, it's the same note as, and, this, and it's four times. It, it beeps four times on the same note as uh, my, my phone when I get a text message. Every time I walk through a parking lot, I think I get a text and I check my phone and I realize everyone hates me and everyone wants to talk to me. So, um, this is really long, but I love you. Okay, 